Welcome to my let's play of Train Valley 2. This is a fun train game. It's slightly different from Train Valley 1 in how it works, and the terrain is certainly a bigger factor than it, it used to be. But, and hopefully my microphone didn't just get pulled out of its slot then, but it's still great fun. I love that little touch. If you mouse over the word game here, and that train fires up. You mouse over editor and that crane will start to move. I like little touches like that in games. Okay. Last time around I did the garden. No, I didn't. I did the dam. And as you can see, there are a total of currently 20 scenarios. And remember, this is currently an early access, so I don't know how many it's going to end up with. I remember that Train Valley 1 got a DLC. And this has an editor, so hopefully if, if it allows you to use Steam Workshop, there'll be a load of people's personally created scenarios that you'll be able to download off Steam if they use that method. However, let's start. Have a look in the garden. I've never seen this before, so it's as new to me as it is to you. Yikes. Okay. He wants nine planes of glass. To get glass, he needs... I need to unlock that and and that. Transport the sand over to there, along with some workers. He wants six panes of glass and... Okay. Just wondering where I can build a bridge. Can I build a bridge anywhere? It's worthwhile or do I have to get on this slope? Okay, let's start with the logical thing. Let's connect that to there so we can get some workers in there. Now the question is, can I actually go down this slope? I can, it's going to take most of my money to do it. However, I can send workers that way. And now, I've got enough cash to do that, I can send workers that way. This will help me work on the tyres. I might as well send more than one set. Okay, I need another worker in there. Now I need to get a load of cash together so I can actually... ...start using the other places. Okay, get some more workers in there. Technically not full of workers yet, okay. Now I can almost buy that and connect to that, which would be nice. However, right now, we can send some rubber down this way so these guys can start work. Send some more workers in there. Right, that gets me a bit of cash, so let me buy this place. 10,000. Let me see if I can get this right. Okay, that'll connect that to there. That's me out of cash again. But I can start sending workers in there immediately. So I can generate some more cash so I can get this place up and running. We're all over the place right now. Oh, I don't have any more trains left. Okay, that's why I can't dispatch another train. That would make sense. Now I do. Okay, that's you're going to get there. You're going to get there. Okay, right now let me pause it. What have I got to do here, by the way? Do not buy more than two engines. Okay. Do not allow a train to arrive at the wrong station. 
Okay, if you say so. Right, let me see if I can get this something close to acceptable. Well, that gets me up to about there, and I don't know where the entrance is going to be, so that would be silly to do that without actually buying this place first. That's as far as I can get that right now, until some more trains get to where I need them to be. workers in there apparently. And I'm still going to need some more workers in there. Oh, I need workers in here of course. Can't just send this stuff, I need actually to connect workers. Okay. That would be s that was me being silly. colliding, so please don't. I always make sure you don't. going on here. Let me think I'll work. Okay, I've got two panes of glass. You lot go over there. Think you're the next train to be used, so take those panes of glass and go that way. You workers go that way. Still need six, and I haven't quite got enough rubber for you yet, so... Start you that way. Said, oh, I don't have a train. Okay. <laughs> trying to trying to figure out why I couldn't send stuff out, and then I realised I didn't have a train to spare. Go that way with your glass. Go that way with some workers. Shouldn't need any more rubber. You, however, need some more workers. Okay. Go. Yeah, the outside time limit I'm meant to aim for is 18 minutes and 30 seconds. The lowest time limit is 11 minutes and 30 seconds. And I'm pretty much halfway there. Okay, that should be... No, I still need one more set of tyres, don't I? 
That's all the tires. Now I need to start getting panes of glass places. that one do not buy more than two engines I'm not sure if that's upgrade or if that's oh, I'll upgrade a second one can't truly hurt right you're done I don't need you anymore I do, of course, have a bottleneck, so I'm wondering if I can use this as a way to avoid the bottleneck. I'll send some workers that way. Workers of the world unite. Or is it workers of the world untie? I can never remember. Okay, you've got four panes of glass. You need three, you need six. Right, we're going to start a train going down this way. I send some more workers across. We might actually... I'll wait till the workers get there. Though I don't like waiting when I've only got three minutes if I want to complete this with a five-star rating. Okay. That's good. Okay, you're going that way in that case. And the next train is about to go... That way, we should take three of them. Good. Right, now when this one goes past, I can move some sand up. I've got cash, haven't I? Oop, no, don't go that way. Up there. That at least gives me an option of avoiding a bottleneck. Of course, I don't have any sand, because I haven't been building any sand. Because I'm an idiot. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get the five star on this one now. I only need to two more panes of glass as well. Which means I just need to get two more bits of sand up there. And then two more bring two more panes of glass back again. And I'm good. I've got the workers in place. I've got everything in place apart from the sand I need. sand moving. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this in a minute, so I should get a bit under the 16 minute mark for completing the scenario. I'm not allowing any trains to arrive at the wrong station. That's good. I bought two engines. I don't want to buy any more than that, apparently. Although I actually do want to buy more than that, but I I can't and be successful. I'm going to complete the, not complete the 11, 11 minutes 30 because it's almost 11 minutes now. But I should certainly be able to do it in 16 minutes. Because all I need is one more pane of glass to be built and set a train off in this general direction. And that should be the last two panes of glass I need to deliver down here. And because I forgot workers down there, that's what slowed me down towards the end. So I'm going to be about 20 seconds slow, maybe. Oh, with this train, maybe 30. It's not one of the fastest of the two engines I've, I've currently got.
I was 24, 24 seconds slow. But I completed the scenario. I got four stars, which isn't bad for me, I must admit. That was in the garden. I like the way they named these. And the, I actually, actually like the 3D rendering of them as well. As well as the Steam trading cards. They put some very nice pictures on those. Over, all in all, it's, they've done it very well, this game. Graphically, everything around it. I don't know if they've got Steam achievements. I, don't, I haven't noticed one or the other. But it may be something they add later, because I'm pretty sure the original had Steam achievements. So it's probably something they just haven't got to yet. This is still Steam Early Access, so they've still got work to do. As you saw, if you saw the dam, when I built a bridge, the help bit was off screen. I'm sure they'll still be fixing little bugs like that. So it went through alpha testing about a month ago. Or the first set of alpha testing in the last couple, month or two. And then a second set, I think about possibly about the month ago. So I know they're still working on it. And like I say, if it's anything like train valley ended up it's going to be a superb game at the moment it may have the occasional rough edge here or there and there may be more content to come and more stuff that's going to happen to it but for right now this is as it is a good game it kind of reminds me of battle brothers when it was in early access it was a good game in early access by the time they actually finally got around to making it fully available it was a great game and this is a really good game now and by the time they finish releasing it from early access i hope it will be a truly great game okay i'll shut up about giving plaudits to the developers of this game i just think it's wonderful i love train valley and i'm loving this one so far okay that's where i'm going to end this episode as always i hope you enjoyed and hopefully i will see you down the road for more episodes of train valley few uh, train valley 2 even in the future adios